Phil, we are sitting here in front of a Dimension 3 console. Show us some of the stuff that this board can do. First is the ability to recall sources quickly on the fly. On the D3, you simply go to the source select knob, you get a, a menu tree right above the fader that, that shows all of the available sources uh, from the audio network. Mm -hmm. Select the source you want, dobby the knob, and that source is assigned to that fader. Instant uh, source select. Mix minus uh, handling. Now, this D3 is a 24 fader surface, 24 input faders with multiple layers. Each layer can contain uh, a number of different fader functions and different fader assignments. So you really could have 96 mixing channels at your disposal. And um, every one of those channels can generate its own mix minus output. Wow. In addition to that, you have another 16 freely assignable utility mix minus buses. So you, you really have a, a huge amount of capability there, yet using the, uh, those functions is, is very simple. The fader generates its own mix minus output. The operator doesn't have to think about it. The 16 uh, freely assignable buses, you simply hit the select knob here, and your assign function is right here on the uh, assign panel with a tally. Uh, that indicates uh, to the operator what mix minus buses this channel is feeding. So it's all very streamlined, uh, very visual, and very, uh, very easy to use. And then there's the, uh, the uh, audio tools that are available uh, on a per channel basis. And those on the D3 are handled on the touch screen. Uh -huh. So if I want to uh, do uh, EQ, it's all um, available with your EQ curves right on screen. It's a full four band parametric EQ with high and low pass filters controlled right from the, from the touch screen itself. Low pass uh, filter, high pass filter here, and uh, the curves right in front of you. If you want finer incremental adjustments, you have an on-screen fader that lets you uh, drag the fader instead of actually dragging the curves with your with your finger. And the same is true with the dynamics. Um, you have uh, a compressor limiter uh, with uh, uh, the normal attack release yeah. threshold ratio and makeup gain control um, that can also be controlled uh, via the on-screen fader. Uh, you have your surround panning that is uh, very uh, easy to pan but in the surround field for any uh, stereo source or mono source can be assigned anywhere in the surround field. AugSense with their controls, the pre-fader, pre-on uh, selection for each AugSend. A very nice feature called reverse routing that lets you select any uh, particular submix and see at a glance which inputs are contributing to that uh, mix. You get a full XY router control, which is simply a source destination control for the whole routing system. You can uh, address the, the, the entire blade network and, and steer any source to any destination mm -hmm. right from the control surface. So we really have uh, a number of on-screen tools that make the uh, board very easy to use. In addition to the full metering uh, uh, screen, your home screen, right. that allows you to uh, see every output bus on the console.